Right, good morning my friends. So I'm stopping here at the Sol Tenerife, in Tenerife, in Las Americas, right next to Veronica's. To be fair, I always stop here and the hotel uh, is pretty clean and uh, it's quite nice. The rooms are what they are. It's, I wouldn't say nice, I'd say it's acceptable uh, and it's clean. But I always stop here and it's well uh, placed as well. It's in a really good place. You can go right out on the beach uh, and it's fantastic really from where it's located. It's a bit noisy at night though with uh, Veronica's being next door saying that. I didn't really hear anything last night, uh, although I was out cold. Anyway, this morning we are off for breakfast. We're gonna mark it out of 10. I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well. We're gonna have a look around. We're gonna go for the full English, go for a little bit of cereal, some toast as well uh, and take a look around really and then just to see what the breakfast is like at the Sol Tenerife so let's get in there if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button don't forget to click that little bell as well because that'll let you know when I've uploaded a video now without further ado my friends let's go Right, so I think first things first this time, let's do it the right way around. Let's go and get a coffee, do the cereal, get the toast first, get everything put out on the table, and then go and get my breakfast so it doesn't go cold. Come on, let's take a look around. Whoever invented these toasters definitely invented the electric car. Both bad ideas.
Right, good selection so far. I've got my cereal first this time because last time I got my cereal after my breakfast and lots of people said that's slightly weird. So uh, this time I've gone proper way around. I've got sugar, I've got a bit of a mixture in here. I do what Harriet does, my daughter. Um, I've got cornflakes in there, I've got sugar puffs and I've got some, I don't know what the other things are, like yellow balls or something. I think they're more suited to the younger generation then. Got my toast, that toaster drives me nuts. Just put normal toasters there. Everyone's literally waiting around for the toast to come out. And then there's a fight and it all breaks out if somebody steals somebody else's toast. You have to put your thumbprint in it so you know which piece of toast is yours. Anyway, I'll eat this, then we'll go and get uh, full English and see what it's like. See now I've probably done this the wrong way around because I've got my toast and I've got some jam. I've pre-buttered one ready for the full English to mix in with the beans there. Uh, and I've got the other one with jam, but surely the jam should come after the full English. A little bit like a dessert because it's sweet, but anyway, we'll just go with it. Mm. I feel so precious about these toasts though, because I think, well, if I want another one, I've got to go through that whole rigmarole of that toaster again, so I'll make that last. <laughs> Come on, let's go and get the full English. Can I have an egg, please? Uh, uh, oh, some, over there. Can you flip one for me? Thank you. What's she done? I used my sausage as a breakwater today, slapped it straight in the beans. That's it, that should be illegal. That should be illegal. It's ruined it. That is a complete disaster. I asked him to flip the egg and he's literally just put it straight in my beans. That's a, that's a breakfast disaster. I mean, it's ruined it. I'm gonna have to start again. I can't waste it though. I'll have to do something with it. I'll have to, I'll have to rescue it. Oh no, and the egg's a bit snotty as well. That is not, that's not good. Right, I'm not sure what to do about this now because I don't want to pull that egg in the beans and I don't want to waste food, but I think... Um, they're cold. Right. Um, I'm going to put the egg over here a minute. Just on this... I'll put it in... I'll put the egg in this bowl here, out of the way. But I've got all that egg in, in with the bean juice now. But anyway, we'll, we'll go in for the bacon and see what that's like. Um, there you go. We'll try it. The end is a bit uh, undercooked, but the edges are the edges are um, the end, edges of it are a bit more cooked. There you go. Hmm. Right.
standard catering sausage as per but I can't eat the rest of it because that egg asked him to flip me an egg and he flipped it straight in the beans right I think I'm gonna have to not eat that to be honest I think I'll go and get a, a yogurt or something and, uh, and, and, and do that and have my toast but what a disaster I mean crikey anyway it is what it is The toast's nice. Right, so I've got a yogurt, strawberry yogurt. I got myself a pan of chocolate. I got myself another um, latte. Ouch, that's hot. Uh, so I'll eat this, and then we'll see you guys outside. I mean, it went slightly wrong where he dropped my egg in the beans. What a disaster! I'll see you guys outside. Try the yogurt first. Let's have a look. Right, my friends. Nice view there. There we go. Going to be a nice day today. Uh, shame it started off not very nice with that breakfast. I mean, what a disaster that was. You didn't see the chef's face. I went up to him and I said, can I have uh, an egg? And, and obviously I said, oh, I meant flip it. Flip the egg over so it wasn't yellow. And he just slapped it on my plate. First off, though, he went, they're over there. And I thought, well, like, yeah, but I want a fresh egg because they were all dried up. Um, by the time I got there. Anyway, flipping that into my beans. What on earth was he thinking? That should be illegal. That should be made illegal, that. It was an absolute disaster. Um, and then the egg was all snotty and it was awful. Mixed in with my bean juice and I'd got my, I'd got my sausages there. There's a break water ready. Um, but anyway, let's get down to business. Well, I couldn't eat the breakfast. The sausages were not that great. They were tasteless, to be honest. The bacon was terrible uh, cooked in place overcooked in places and undercooked in other places i don't know what they've done with that um the beans ugh, i mean i didn't really want to go in for the beans because they were a bit watery when i put them in there i tried to get some of the water out of it um in fact as i've said before looks like a load of duncan goodhue's heads bobbing up and down in the water um good selection though uh, the pano chocolat actually was nice i went back for a second one of those the coffee was awful, it was bitter. I had another one just because I needed a coffee, but it wasn't nice. It was nowhere near being a, a cafe uh, con leche at all. There was not much milk in it. Um, I'm just disgusted by what the chef did, to be honest, and, and his attitude was, they're over there. And I just thought, well, that's not a very good attitude. So, how do I mark this breakfast? Well. I think you should mark it for me in the comment section down below and what would you have done if he'd have done that to you? Am I overreacting there? I just thought you'd slamming it in the beans, put it at the side. Um, I, I mean, it wasn't great. It is what it is, isn't it? It's a, it's a hotel, um, it's a hotel breakfast. However, saying that, that all hotels aren't the same. I've stopped at the Bougainville Player before with Sarah and the kids and the food was beyond amazing it was brilliant it really was good uh, but this i've stayed here before and i tend not to eat the breakfast here to be honest i've done this as a quick video to show you what it's like but i didn't think i've not had it for ages actually so i didn't remember it being that bad but as i say a good selection of crap really <laughs> a good selection of crap sorry that's the only way to explain it i'm gonna give it a I'm going to knock some points off for that attitude of that chef. I'm going to go, pff, I mean, good grief. I'll give it three for the pan of chocolate and the orange juice. And that was a bit bitter as well. So there you go. That's breakfast at the Salt Tenerife. Hit or miss. I'd give it a miss if I was you. Plenty of places out there. And uh, I mean, I, I am 
I've got the breakfast, but I can tell you what, I won't be going back. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys in the, ne in the next one. And by the way, if the chef's watching, you, you mate, what on earth? You, that should, that's illegal. You should be locked up for that. See you later. The uh, cereals could have done with a, a little bit, a little bit more of a selection of cereals, etc. But um, that's crap. Thank <laughs> you.